It's Brock Sheldon from Sheldon Photo. I believe it's December 4th. Maybe it's the 3rd. Oh, yeah, it's the 4th. I've decided to give you a couple few quick tips and tricks here. Um, little things that either I've learned from other people or that I've made up myself. Um, the first being microphone covers. Now, you can pick up a pack of these microphone covers for like less than five bucks. I believe I got six assorted colors for four dollars and something cents. And <clears throat> I've, you know, you lose lens caps. Either you'll have the front one, not the back one. The back one, not the front one. And I'm a little bit OCD. I'm sorry about my mic here. I'm a little bit OCD on keeping the glass covered. So as you can see, this was my solution. Super cheap, you know, lens caps can be almost 10 bucks a piece if you go to your local photography store and you find the one that's for the lens you're looking for. You know, it's a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, it's only 10 bucks, but it's 10 bucks. So you take these microphone covers and a 50 millimeter lens is pretty pushing it on the wide on the wideness of what you can fit these over. Oops. And then you just kind of take them and put these covers on your lenses. Now, on my 28 millimeter for this Minolta, I have the front. Didn't have the back, so I keep one on the back. So yeah, um, microphone covers. Lens covers, it's one of the greatest little things that I've thought of. I don't see many other people doing it, and man, it's a good little money saver trick. Um, also, <clears throat> photography on a budget, okay? You wanna, you wanna be able to use other stuff with your camera, <coughs> right? But it could be real expensive, and you don't want to just go spend a shite load of money for a filter, you know? Screw that. So if you want to start off with a little filter, um, here's one that I picked up for 20 bucks, brand new. It was like $19, brand new. Um, it's not like a fancy filter. All it is is actually a polarizer and it's got an adapter ring on it um sun pack polarizer ring um i would suggest this just so you get familiar with you know putting filters on your camera lenses and i don't use this much i'll be honest but it's well worth the 20 bucks because when it's super snowy out I'll throw it on there sometimes, and if I'm getting like a glare, if let's say you're taking a picture of a car, and you're just getting a glare on there that you cannot get rid of, okay? You're not in the studio, you can't, you don't have a guy holding a reflector for you, you're just out shooting, okay? This thing will take glare away instantly. You just turn this to whatever you need to, and it, you'll see the glare just disappear. So it's a good $20 well spent, and it comes with this nice little handy dandy. Uh oh. Oh no. Anyway, what was I on to next? Oh yeah. Peak Design. Peak Design is a fairly new company in the photography world. They pretty much make accessories, straps, bags, stuff like that. This strap is sweet, okay? No, this is not a plug-in. No, I do not make money for this. Obviously, you can tell I don't make money. I use crap stuff. But... And this is one of the stuff I have that's not crap. Peak design, baby. They click in, 
the straps are instantly adjustable with this lever you want to I keep um, these tabs on this camera I also keep another set of these tabs on my 5200 which is my main camera and you know you want to switch from that to film I take the 52 out put this one in you know slides right in awesome product and it holds the weight really good of any camera so it, they're a little bit more expensive but on that that end of the you know business go with the better stuff you want a good strap um i hate walking around with a camera on a shit strap for hours it sucks and this one you can make it super long carry it like an over the shoulder backpack and disperse the weight better or you can just have it around your neck one last thing that i would suggest for all you photographers who are out on the out in the field a lot if you have a camera that you <clears throat> you don't put the battery into a wall port and let's say you're just plugging a USB 2.0 into the side of it or whatever your charger may be pocket juice and get the big one okay this thing right here will charge my iPhone twice charge your camera twice um, you can plug external different um, charging ports like if it's got this built-in USB 2.0 one in it that you can plug into stuff and use it but like for my iPhone it doesn't have that on there I can plug my iPhone cord into the end of this and plug it into that and the same thing goes for any camera that plugs in to the side of it and charges you don't actually take the battery out to charge this thing is sweet you hit that button it starts charging baby you are good to go love this thing um it's not that expensive i believe i got this one for like around 20 bucks it does take a little bit to charge when you fill it but if you just do it when you go to sleep wake up throw this in your camera bag Man, I mean, like I said, you can use it for your phone, your camera. These things are just sweet. Any electronic devices on the fly you need to mess with, always carry this around. But yeah, um, this video ended up being a little longer than I wanted it to be. But, you know, whatever. It's the morning. I got coffee. We're good to go, Shadow Bros. But yeah, I hope these microphone covers above all help you because this was one thing that was pissing me off man i kept freaking leaving my damn lens caps places especially the back ones um i i still don't know where the actual body caps that cover my sensors are so i have to pretty much keep a lens in my bodies at all times but yeah these microphone covers definitely invest in them thanks for watching thanks for being a shutter bro all four of you Shout out to my Shutter Bros. Shout out to my kitty. Have a good one. Peace out, Shutter Bros.